I am thrilled that Cumberland County is going to be participating in this four-minute city project. This is a program that could save your life. This is a program that could save the life of someone you care about. It's unfortunate that all of us know someone touched by sudden cardiac arrest. It is uh, one of those conditions that um, takes far too many lives. I really hope that the neighbors and our community leaders in Cumberland County see um, that they are a critical link in the chain of survival. Their ability to perform CPR, their ability to get an AED to the patient um, within those initial first seconds of a sudden cardiac arrest occurring means that that patient has a better chance of survival. Realistically, in Pennsylvania and across the United States, there is a challenge to get emergency responders, whether they're firefighters, whether they're EMTs, whether they're paramedics. The number of people in these positions has just shrunk dramatically. Um, that's why it becomes so critical that we're leveraging the technologies that are out there. A lot of sudden cardiac arrest occurs in the home. So uh, having a neighbor that's willing to jump in and respond, and maybe they're a first responder, and now they have access to an AED through the Four Minute City Project, um, that's going to mean that there is a chance we save a life that previously wouldn't have been saved. Uh, unfortunately, in Cumberland County, and our response area is uh, about 118 square miles around Carlisle, uh, we run into situations where someone could help and they didn't. Um, I myself was on a response where an AED was readily right next uh, available to the patient, but no one was willing to turn it on and put it on. They were all a little too hesitant. Uh, I've seen situations where uh, bystander CPR just isn't happening because they lack confidence. So um, through the Four Minute City Project, we want to fix that. We want to let people know, hey, AEDs are a lot of places. We're going to put more out there. Uh, you're going to all have easy access to understand how to use it, how to perform CPR, because it really is a simple but critical skill skill. And then we're hoping to see our numbers in the emergency medical services change. We track the data and we've seen that at best, about 50% of the people who could get bystander CPR actually get it. And unfortunately, especially since uh, about 2019, we've seen that number in the 30s to 40 range. What we're going to see in Cumberland County as an impact from the four minute city project is you're going to have people knowing uh, and having the tools to respond to sudden cardiac arrest. Whereas before, uh, you might just hear about it later on. Oh, there was an ambulance down the street and there were all these fire trucks and police departments. Now, if you are someone who is inclined to help and you're uh, someone who is nearby an AED that notifies you, hey, help is needed, um, we're going to run in those situations where uh, your neighbors are going to save your life.